Hi, I'm relatively new to the forums. I always read them for entertainment, and I really like horror stories, even though I've never been much of a believer in esoteric stuff and stuff. I wanted to ask for help, or at least some advice for the situation I've been dealing with these last few weeks. I've already talked to people in different forums and chat pages like Reddit, but no one takes me seriously. A few weeks ago, about two weeks at least, I moved with my partner to a new home as we both got jobs in a city close to where I used to live and it was more comfortable for us to move together to a new home to start a new life as adults and blah 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 blah. The thing is, as soon as we finished moving we decided to relax and have a barbecue in the backyard of the house. So far we hadn't had any problems, neither with the neighbors or with the house itself. But still, something felt out of place, I don't know. The vibes? I don't quite understand how that works, but my girlfriend mentioned it several times. To give you some context, our new home is located on the edge of a beautiful forest. Close to the house there are some parking lots and large green areas beyond the forest behind the house. Basically, it's our huge backyard shared with the neighborhood. The first few days living there, we didn't have many problems since, well, I didn't often find myself at home. I'm a doctor, and we've been very busy lately. Back on topic, my girlfriend told me several times that she found things out of place from where she left them. At first I thought it was because, probably, she was too proud to admit that she lost things or just forgot where she left them. Or so I thought, until it started to happen to me too. First with small things, the PlayStation joystick, the car keys, or my socks for my slippers. Then it started to be bigger things, and therefore annoying. A vase we had in the dining room changed places four times in one week. The television started to fail, the internet too. We called the service provider to complain and got them to send technicians to check what was going on. They told us that the electrical box had sulfated fuses and that they'd already changed them. A few days later, everything started to fail again. Same complaint, same procedure, and same problem. All this wouldn't be so much of a problem if it hadn't been for the fact that something horrible happened last night. We were getting ready to go to bed, and we did our routine. We cleaned up, locked all the doors, and turned off the lights downstairs, where the dining room, kitchen, and so on were located. We went upstairs, went to bed, and I put on headphones with music to sleep. My girlfriend watched TV for a while until I fell asleep. After an hour or so, my girlfriend woke me up with a jolt. I took off the headphones, and a little confused, I asked her what was going on. She signaled me to be quiet, and we stood still in the dark. I didn't quite understand what she meant, but just as I was about to complain, I was interrupted by some banging. On the first floor, there was a very, very loud banging, as if the front door was being kicked in or something. I immediately got up and asked my girlfriend to call the police. I put on a pair of pants and went downstairs to see what was going on. When I got to the stairs, I found that the living room light was on which was totally ridiculous because we always made sure everything was off. It was routine. Standing on the stairs, I looked straight at the front door leading to the street. The knocking had stopped, but I was still on the lookout for anything that might happen. I yelled to my girlfriend to come down and join me, but she refused. I finished going downstairs to turn off the light in the living room, and they started banging on the door again, like they were desperate to open it or something. I don't have any weapons, I had nothing to defend myself with, so I grabbed a knife from the kitchen. I'm not entirely sure about this part, but I think it went something like this. I was about to turn off the light, and when I approached the switch near the door, I could hear someone turning the lock on the door, as if the lock was being removed. I got really scared. I'm not the bravest person in the world, but I stood still waiting for something to happen. The door opened by itself after a few seconds, and nothing else. That moment was horrible, and I think we're gonna move again. I'm very concerned about the safety of both of us, so right now I'm looking for another place in case something happens. For now, I'm gonna change the locks on the house. Oh, the police never showed up.
Now, with the context, what do I do? I was told to talk to a priest because what happened isn't normal, but I don't know how it all works. Someone else told me to put salt at the entrances of the house and to look for quartz stones to protect me from bad spirits. Does anyone have information about that? Good creepy pasta. It's kind of gone out of fashion, isn't it? I'm going to ignore the fact that there are no capital letters in your text, and I'm going to think that everything you say is true. Have you already tried putting black or grey candles near the entrances to the home? It is often said that salt is useful to keep out spirits and all bad energies, but it is not infallible, and energetic charges involve more complicated things than just pouring salt in your home to keep them away. Regarding candles, they are capable of channeling certain energy in the same way that some minerals would do. Citrine quartz necklaces are also useful. Oh, threat about energies. One piece of advice I can give you is that you and your girlfriend should vibrate high. Good auras are always the pillar to avoid bad energies in and out of your daily life and home. Mm -hmm. You're not going to tell me that you really believe him. Why not? If he asks for help, it's probably because he needs it. If he is an ARG or something like that, he's the one wasting his time. It doesn't affect me at all. And it probably doesn't affect you either. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. I'm back. In answer to Celtic Pumpkin, I want to say that I still don't know how to use the computer very well. I'm old-fashioned, but I manage to do a bit. My girlfriend is helping me and correcting me as much as she can. We're gonna try all your advice. We're scared, but we're also trying to face the situation with the best possible attitude. I googled a couple of things and saw something that may help us. But for now, we're sticking with the initial advice. I need to go to sleep. These are not very pleasant days. Best of luck, BBs! Finally! An interesting thread! What happened in the end? Did they die, or what's up? I don't know. I'm still waiting. He said he was a doctor or something, so they must be busy. Or probably got eaten by the boogeyman. Things did not get any better. We have a very, very strong feeling that someone is watching us all the time. We also get sudden chills and can hardly fall asleep. And yet, all this is not the worst of evils. And why don't they just move house or something like that? I mean, it seems stupid to me that they look for a solution in internet forums coincidentally oriented to paranormal and mysteries. Shut your mouth, asshole. <laughs> Shut up. The guy is trying to tell what happened to him. A bit earlier, my partner let me know she was on her way home. She was at work, and I stayed behind to fix things. I was struck by the fact that she was taking longer than usual, so I called her a couple of times, but she didn't answer her cell phone. Clearly, I was concerned, but I tried not to pay too much attention to her because she'd probably been delayed with something at work, which can happen. Within minutes, she sent me this image. She told me that she was very scared, and that it had been haunting her for a couple of minutes. She is with me now. She is still very scared. Well, shit. Scary. Sounds like you guys have worse problems than a couple of bad vibes. I can only recommend that you get out of there urgently, seek help somewhere other than the internet. Perhaps a pastor at the nearest chapel might be of more help to you. Whatever you do, do it very carefully. For some reason, they remind me of the gulls. They're like some kind of corpse-eating demon or something. I don't know if it's a real thing, but be careful anyway. It is a bad Photoshop. Bad resolution. Now that there is a photo. I don't know whether to believe it or not. Anyway, I don't know. Be careful just in case. We decided to go to my mother's house. None of us want to stay another night around here. Thanks to everyone for the advice. We'll probably take a break from everything until we find out what's going on. It is probably the best choice. Good luck, good luck. I'll keep an eye out just in case. Good luck, cowboy. 
what happened to them? I have never in my life been so attentive to a thread. <laughs> a bully said they lived near a forest or something. Do you think it could have been a monster from there? I spent all my time stalking this forum, but from what I could see, it looks like something very bad. I pray I never come across something like that in my life. I'd say stop talking and wait to see what happens. I'll keep an eye out in case OP posts something again. Hey, we arrived at the town where my mother lives. We were looking for parking near the subdivision where she lives, and... I am almost 100% sure that is not edited. What the fuck is with the thing in the back? Is it the camera angle, or is it fucking huge? I hope I'm not late. Don't leave the house for now, especially when there's no light. If I remember correctly, I read a report about creatures like that. They have a horrible smell whenever they're near, and they're not hostile, but they are an omen of bad omen. Please, and I insist, take care of yourselves. The only thing missing is for them to make a video. Some famous YouTuber or something like that, and you're done. Better ARG 2021. Oh brother, what a pain in the ass you are. Go to hell. I just woke up and came running to see if anything had happened. I hope OP is okay. Yes, me too. I want to imagine that everything I read are conspiracies or rumors. They were very ugly things. Not to be the annoying killjoy, but if it's what I think Cultist Pumpkin says it is, then OP probably isn't the best guy in the world. The follies are entities of misfortune and ill omen that haunt people with corrupt souls or something like that. Here's a report which talks a bit about that. I didn't want to say anything, but... Bearded didn't post anything. Can you let me know if anything happens? By private chat, please. I'll let you know. No drama. I'm also pending. Hmm? The champion seems to have run out of ideas. I don't think so. It looked like something serious. And compared to other things I saw, I don't think it's a fake. Well, I have news. Hmm? Hmm? Said occurrence took place on or about the fifth day of the present month. Local authorities report that the accused subject carried his victim, his wife, for two weeks before he was properly apprehended. The detainee was found at the home of his mother, who refused to cooperate with authorities in locating his whereabouts. News in progress. Experts affirm that the man suffered from mystical delusions, suspecting paranoid schizophrenia. In addition, he had three complaints of domestic abuse at the time of his arrest. Here's the link. My god. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Are you sure it's the same person from the posts? Quite a lot, at least for me. If you look at the photos in the story, you'll notice that one of the places where the reporter is standing is almost identical to the place in the last photo he sent. I don't know what to say. I just saw it on the news. The guy lived near me. I'm not sure how to feel. I'm not quite sure what to say either. It seems to me that the smartest thing to do would be to say nothing. Banana is right. I've been monitoring this and just realized I should have closed it long ago. Get on with something else before you get in trouble. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon, and a special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, Tanis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. 
If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon, link in the description.